Hey YouTube, I don't know about you but I'm over this old notice stand so rather than making you sit through another build video I'm going to try skip through this as fast as I can. After the success I had in the previous video removing some flex I decided instead of making complicated arms with rubber vibration mounts I might just add a couple more pieces of SHS instead. I used the same method I used previously to box the ends in. It definitely seems the easier way to do it. Patience is not my forte, but I attempted to constrain my enthusiasm to get it welded by doing lots of clean up in between welds. Welding the sides on was reasonably challenging due to the thickness of the metal. There's only so much I could turn the MIG down, so I had to resort to welding with a lot of wire hanging out, which is a pseudo way of lowering the amperage. I still had some blowouts, but nowhere near as many as if I used the regular wire stick out. Due to this adjustment bracket being an afterthought, it required a bit of trimming up to make the sides fit properly. It was kind of tricky pulling the MIG trigger for a very short time to avoid blowouts. I tried focusing the heat on the thicker material, but some heat still needed to be put into the thinner material. This piece of metal was quick to cut out, but I thought I was going to break the 4mm cutter the whole way around the first pass. After I finish this mower, I'm going to put some effort into making some more clamps and making this spillboard flat so this never happens again. I decided to make an inspection hatch out of a piece of plastic I had left over from the electric wheelchair. Other than a bit of cutter clogging, it has been the easiest material I've cut to date. Here I'm welding on a couple of nuts to make the fitting of the metal thread bolts easier. I swear I've spent more time removing slag balls than any other thing on this job. I recently changed wire brains and I think this new wire produces less of them, but they're still a pain. This panel I'm putting on between the engine and the alternator is about half the thickness of the side panels. We are talking sub 1mm thickness, which is causing more blowouts than I had on the sides. The welding on this rear panel is definitely not going to win any beauty contests. If you close both eyes and squint real hard, it almost looks passable. Okay, so we're in the home stretch. Just bolting on the inspection plate and bolting down the alternator. We're finished, right? So if you remember a couple of episodes ago, I decided to move the diagonal bars to clear the vibration mount studs. That allowed me to place the alternator stand legs between the engine and the studs. I then looked at how I could move the legs further forward by putting a V in the top bracket. Then I had this brilliant epiphany to move the alternator stand legs backwards of the studs. So I chopped off the alternator stand legs and moved them. I even went as far as making sure the alternator had full movement. Now take a look at this picture again and see if my fuck up becomes obvious. Yes, when I moved the legs and welded on the plate, I also reduced my alternator travel. I have a solution for the problem, but I'm not going to bother videoing it because I'm over this job. Thanks for watching this video. It felt like pulling teeth for me, so I can only imagine how painful it was for you. On the bright side, we move on to something different next time.